grew up in New Jersey, in North Bergen. Um, I had two brothers and three sisters. My dad kind of like pushed us all for sports, you know. I started wrestling probably before I could tie my shoes. My first three years, I never won a match. My first year, I got pinned every match I wrestled. So, I mean, I wasn't very good. But then, like, once I hit junior high, I kind of turned a corner. I got real serious about training. And uh, it wasn't, like, just as much a thing to do anymore. It was, like, the thing I wanted to do, period. I signed at the University of Iowa. I wrestled for Jimmy Zaleski. I took second my true freshman year. Uh, my sophomore year, I won NCAAs. After that year, I didn't make the team, the Olympic team. 2004, so I wanted to like rededicate the freestyle, just stay in Colorado. My mother wanted me to finish school. So at the time, Oklahoma State had three Olympians on the team out of seven weight classes, three trained in Stillwater. So I figured that if I wasn't gonna live in Colorado and just train freestyle full time, that would be the most reasonable next step for me as far as preparing me for an international career. I made like the team in 2008 Olympics. I wrestled a lot of good, we had a really strong weight class. You know, um, we had a lot of guys that were ranked top five in the world at our weight, you know, 120 kilograms. So for me to make it through, I really thought I was in position to have a good tournament in the Olympics. Uh, we went to China for it in Beijing, and uh, it was a real close match. It was like three clinches. He came out on top, you know, he, he wrestled a good match, and uh, he went on to take silver in, in the games. The more time that uh, passes, the more uh, I look back on it as a positive, but at the time it was really anticlimactic for me, you know. In 2009, I retired and I took a coaching position at uh, Lehigh. I coached there for about six months and they had a real good heavyweight, his name's Zach Ray. Um, and I was wrestling with him every day and I had retired because I was getting dinged up and stuff, so I figured I would step back and, and start playing more of a role as a coach. But after like six months of being there, I was wrestling with him more than I was when I was training myself, you know, in, in uh, 2009. So I came back out of retirement in 2011. Uh, and then 2012, I, I, I came for the Olympic year. I took third in the trials. Uh, you know, I fell short. I made national team, but in wrestling, they only take one athlete. It wasn't my day that day, but I did prepare myself and I put myself in a position to win, you know, uh, but it didn't happen. Uh, I was training in Bethlehem with uh, Carmelo Marrero. He has an ATT there, where Lehigh is. And uh, he's, he, I met Coach Laborio, you know, in the gym there. He came to visit with Carmelo. You know, he worked with me a little bit and, uh, sit and mentioned that if I ever want to come down, you know, I'm, I'd be welcome. So that's what, that's what, that's what happened. I then came down here for about 10 days or so. Uh, met with the coaches, met with uh, Dan Lambert, and, uh, and and set up a system for me to train. That's what I was. I like the city of Coconut Creek a lot. You know, uh, it's a, it's a real comfortable move for us. My family loves it. You know, they they uh, they like the people. You know, everybody's been pretty warm, especially around the gym, and even in our neighborhood. It's a, it's a, it's a nice place. You know, I like being this close to the beach. And I like being able just to do stuff, you know, the stuff that, that's there, available to us here.